Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do our Easter update and configuration release for Retail Core. This has been a long time coming video. I've seen many users contact me about an updated method and them not finding the new MySQL back. So we will go over the recent changes in Retail Core and then we will also do some gameplay and perhaps review some of the most recent updates and fixes for the core. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Okay, as a first step we want to go to the Discord channel of Retail Core. And once you arrive on the Discord channel you're going to see most likely if you're a new player or a new join to the server you're going to see the rules which you will accept and please respect the rules so then you want to go to the release channel and once you go to the release channel on the very top you will see the link for the latest build of the server once you have downloaded this you want to go to the tc.rtm.io and there in the master folder for 10.6 you're going to find all the camera, all the maps, all the files that are needed by the server for it to run. After that, I want you to go and extract all the folders. Once you have completed the extraction of the files, I want you to go through the folder where the files are extracted. It most likely is going to look something like this. So, and an important step here is that we set the server folder a little bit uh, different than usual. You cannot use spaces in the name of the server folder because otherwise this new CSM is just not going to open. So for me it's my service folder where I have my drag and flight folder. So I want you to open the folder and basically first copy everything from the pre-compiled core folder. And then everything from these folders here, the way that they are just extracted, I want you to just mark those and cut and then paste them. So once you're completed, you're most likely going to be left only with the zip files, which you can delete if you don't need. And if you do need them, uh, you can basically keep them for whatever if something goes wrong to restore your server or whatever So as the next step we to start the server. It's a little bit different. We no longer have the mysql.bat So now you just go to the unif server z folder and then you run the uni controller Then you're going to be greeted with this friendly little window so there are two options here. One of the options is start MySQL, which is basically replacing the MySQL.bat. And then you can also start the Apache. The Apache is basically the website where you can register account and basically host the server online and pl play with your friends or with other people. So once you start this, it's going to go green, most likely not gonna work from the first time. Uh, so um, better it's going to be to just cut this and in incognito window open it because the certificate is old then proceed and you're gonna be greeted with this more on the page later so once you have started the uni server you basically go back to the folder and start the bnet and then you start the world server now there is here a web page file called uh, Bliss CMS. You click this, then you copy the link, then you set up another incognito window, and then you drop that window inside, then you click on invest proceed. It's going to take a little, sometimes it takes a little to load. Mm. Ah, yes. 
So in here you're going to see the web page. It looks something like this. You have your support, online players, whatever. Uh, you can create a new profile, register, and then try to use that account to log into the server and perhaps uh, have multiple accounts. If you play with other people and you want to host the server, this is actually quite helpful to have. So once the server is started, you're going to have, of course, the Trinity room and it's going to be saying that it's ready just like before so from this point on you basically go to yeah you basically where your world of warcraft is you need the arctium launcher which you basically download from arctium launcher you can find that as easy as googling it and it's going to be hosted on the arctium.io then you're gonna click on the world of warcraft and here you're going to see a custom server client launcher and then you download this and you put it into your main world of warcraft folder and add it into the retail and basically from here you run the world of warcraft client So from that point on, you are going to basically log in into the server, you're going to select your realm, and from here you basically have to create a new character, so I'm not going to do all that because I already have a configured server and I want to go back to review some of the new content and check some of the features that were added recently into the game. So from now on, I will just close and go back to the other character. So see you in a sec. So now that we are back, we can go over the new Plunder event, which is actually quite fun to play. Although I'm definitely overpowered. So yeah, basically we have the plunder event and when you go inside here and it's like a pvp area where you just kill npcs get like supposedly very strong npcs but uh, my character is already quite broken so so strong they're not yeah, so enjoy the gameplay
so basically when the event actually finishes it automatically boots you out and brings you to the NPC where you started. That's actually kind of cool. So other changes that have been included into the latest version is uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, most of the Shadowlands uh, story and campaign and some of the Veneteer quest line has been fixed and set in order. I personally found some issues with it. I'm pretty sure Retail has fixed it. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and see you next time.